Today is the third highest day for coronavirus cases on record in our state. The Department of Public Health reporting nearly 2,800 new cases of the virus. One question many are asking tonight, what has caused the dramatic spike in the infections? Many are blaming the spike on the recent protests and marches. John Shirek joins us live in Midtown with that part of the story for us tonight. John? It might seem obvious that hundreds or thousands of protesters jammed together in daily demonstrations might spread the virus and set off the spike that we're now seeing across this state. But health officials say there's little evidence to support that. Researchers and contact tracers in Georgia and across the country trying to find out, did the protests at their peak help stir up in the crowds an infectious COVID-19 brew that caused our current outbreak in cases? Senior Pastor Jettinson Franklin of Free Chapel in Gainesville, among many who are certain they did, he's expressing outrage that some states allow protests but ban in-person church services. Franklin posted on Twitter, the very definition of discrimination is to allow thousands to march and scream without masks while telling churches 100 or less that you cannot sing. Did the protests cause the spike? I don't think the facts back that up yet. Atlanta you know, infectious I, diseases I expert infectious. Dr. Melanie but Thompson. The studies that have looked at geographically where the protests were are not bearing out that the protests are responsible for this upswing that we are seeing. So many of the protesters wore masks and they were outside. All those things can act to decrease the potential for infection. The National Bureau of Economic Research just published a study by researchers at three universities. They looked at protests in 281 cities, tracked movements of people using cell phone data, and then looked at CDC COVID-19 data from those cities. The conclusion, no significant increase in overall cases in those areas. Georgia's Department of Public Health says it's difficult to prove if any infection came from a protest, but, quote, we have not seen any indication of increased cases or outbreaks due to recent demonstrations. Where are people getting infected in Georgia? Not outdoors, but indoors. The sources include workplaces, prisons and jails, restaurants, bars, and churches reopened for in-person services. We're really talking about knowing how to control this pandemic. So it is time to put to use what we know. So health officials say it is impossible to trace all of these cases during this spike right now to the protest. And again, there's little evidence that the protests caused the spike. Jeff. John, a really thoughtful piece, really thought provoking. And, and yet there is evidence that simple community spread is a major culprit here. Well, you know, what, what was going on is the protests, the peak of the protests were occurring at about the same time that Georgia was reopening. And so the evidence points not to the protests, but possibly to people who were letting down their guard as the state was reopening.